What's good, everybody? Ropes, I want to make this video to ask everybody out there, what is your favorite boxing network out of HBO and Showtime? Which one do you prefer to watch better? Which presentation do you like better? What commentating do you like better? For me, back in the day, I'm not going to lie, it used to be HBO because HBO had the better presentation as far as the way, you know, the graphics looked and everything, the lighting. I just liked watching it better. It felt more comfortable to watch than Showtime, which was always a little bit too bright for me. Um, the graphics kind of sucked and the commentary was a little bit boring. You know, even though I believe Showtime has always been better at commentating overall, a lot of the times they were boring. They really weren't talking about much. And you had one of the most boring boxers in the history of the sport, Antonio Tarver down there talking. And to me, this guy is the most boring figure in sports in and outside the ring. He's boring as shit. He ruined the last Rocky movie for me. I ended up falling asleep on that just like I do every one of his fights. And I think that had a lot to do with why I didn't really enjoy the commentary there back then. But lately... Showtime has been stomping the shit out of HBO's commentary and their presentation. Everything, it seems like they've gotten a lot better. And they really understood what was holding them back, in my opinion, from being the number one network to watch um, boxing on. Which they're getting to that now because their presentation, the way that they have their panel set up with their commentators. They got four of them down there. You got Pauli Malinaji down there, which is a great fit. I hope they never get rid of him because he knows how to talk. And on top of that, he knows boxing. He's uh, been in the ring. He's still in there now doing his thing. And um, I think he's a good fit to have down there. You also have that guy, man, I can't think of his name. I think it's Mari Janali or Janalo or something. Um, he came from the MMA world. He was an MMA commentator. And one thing I noticed about MMA commentators, they are very fucking detailed and on point with calling the fucking matches and letting you know what's going on when you're watching this shit. You know, me, I'm not that knowledgeable in MMA. I watch it from time to time, but I'm not a diehard MMA fan. You know, like I love boxing first. It's always going to be better than MMA in my opinion. But there are matches that draw me in as a casual fan to watch it. And I understand holds. I've learned all of this stuff just from the, the few times that I've watched. I watch more than a few times, but just from watching and just listening to the commentary, I know holds and, and what holds the opponent is trying to get and how the other opponent is trying to keep him from getting the hold, what he's doing to prevent him from doing. You know, they break all that stuff down in very good detail, um, <clears throat> which is what HBO lacks, especially lately. man. They don't really let you know what's going on in the ring as the matches are happening. They're just cheerleading and, and talking about shit that don't even have to do with the match at times. You know, it was always good when they had like George Foreman or Lennox Lewis down there because they let you know what was happening and why he's throwing the jab and what punch he's trying to set up. You know, they let you know that type of stuff while Jim Lampley and Larry Merchant are cheerleading along the sides and shit. And just talking shit, you know, about the opponent or just trying to overhype one opponent that's in the ring. You know, they, they do that type of thing, you know. So it was always good for them to have them guys. Them guys saved their commentating when they had those real boxers down there. But now, you know, they have Roy Jones, who turned out to be a disappointment to me as far as commentating is concerned. Turned out to be a big disappointment. I was excited to see him there when he first started coming down there. but. He's turned into a fanboy, too. You know, he does a lot of cheerleading and fanboy activity as well. And it was a disappointment to see that happen to him. So their commentary down there is complete shit because the last person they have left is Max Kellerman, who can keep it real at times, but he flip-flops around so much that, you know, he ends up annoying the shit out of you and making you want to slap the shit out of him because his views and opinions seem to just flip-flop around everywhere, and he's never consistent. So their commentary over there is complete shit now. I don't even like listening to them anymore. And if there's any pay-per-view match that I, um, <clears throat> that I stream, I always make sure...
to go to the British commentary because I like them a whole lot better than listening to HBO. So HBO is getting killed right now, man. I mean, like I said, they got that MMA dude over there who um, is the best commentator as far as letting you know what's happening in the ring. He He's the best at doing that shit. That dude is going to be a legend, man. I'm telling you right now. Uh, you have Al Bernstein, who's very fair. Uh, he doesn't really have favorites. He He's really unbiased, I think, in his commentary. You know, the only person I don't like over there on Showtime right now is Jim Gray. I cannot stand Jim Gray. To me, him and Jim Lampley need to go sit down somewhere on the same bench where we can never see these guys again because... Jim Gray's interviews, he just annoys the shit out of me, the way that he asks questions, the way that he uh, passes judgment down on people. You know, you have Pauli Malignaggi, a guy who's speaking his mind and letting the boxing fans know what's really going on, how boxing is nothing but a business and it's full of shit and telling us things that we as hardcore boxing fans already know. And he's talking about why are you biting the hand that feeds you and all this dumb shit. You know, another thing I don't like what he does is, you know, when you have a a fighter that comes from Mexico, a lot of these fighters, some of them may know English, but they just don't want to speak in English because they want to speak in Spanish because they're speaking to their fans, their Mexican fans who came to see them. Most of them are Spanish speakers. That's they enjoy speaking to each other in their own fucking language. Okay, so just out of respect for their people, they want to do their interview in Spanish. And this guy is making people say shit in English now, you know, and it comes off as um, a little prejudice, like, oh, you're over here in the United States, so you need to be doing your interview in English so that we all can understand. You know, that's why you have the translator there to translate. If the boxer wants to have respect for his own damn people and speak in a language that is his own along with his own fans then what problem does Jim Gray have with that shit? Why can't he just let it be? Why do they have to, why does he have to force Canelo Alvarez to say, this is for my brother in English? That shit was fucking corny, man. I prefer just to hear him say this shit in Spanish and let the dude translate. You know, he just annoys the shit out of me. But that's the only problem I have over there. For some reason, they can't get these guys that aren't arrogant and shit and opinionated to do these post-fight interviews. But um, I think Showtime takes the cake. Definitely my favorite commentary. They've stepped their game up tremendously. And with this recent thing with uh, the split between Golden Boy and HBO, I think that was just the final blow to HBO. I think that uh, Showtime is the champions right now. But you guys leave me your opinions. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Peace.